Gentlemen, Hulkamania is about to run wild. There is only one, the Immortal. And introducing the champion from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 302 pounds. He is the WWE Champion. So between WCW and WWE, Hogan has had double-digit world title reigns. Not to mention he's a two-time WWE Hall of Famer and the biggest name in the business in the 80s and 90s. this title you are a top name in this industry the unforgiving structure is down and the bell is rung Unforgiving and at times outright ominous. A brutal forearm. Well measured. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. The champion dodges the two count. I thought he might have had him there, but it's early. Oh man, you can see he is feeling it now. Dangerous area inside the cell. He's thinking a steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. Max Hale from the middle rope. Hell on a cell is such a demonic structure that exists solely for pain and suffering. Corey, I have to know, is there any use in coming up with a game plan for this match, or do you have to play it all by ear? No, absolutely play it by ear, Cole. You know how they say that everyone's got a plan until they get hit in the mouth? Well, everyone's got a plan until they enter Hell in a Cell. Out of the ring and into Hell itself. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. He climbs into the ring. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Ow! Oh! Oh, That'll knock you silly. Falling victim. 
whipped into a slew of offense. Holster's in a disheartening position. joke, Michael, and they have done their best not to let this structure affect them too greatly. Catches an uppercut. Oh, man. Boom. And he finds an answer for the Hulkster. Great counter! These two showing how well scouted they each are. Guys, the oh, just broke! This is not good. Do you realize how much force that must have taken? Good God! Here he goes, right up the side of the cell. Making it look easy. This is where superstars become legends, Cole. He made it to the top. Oh, just stop moving. Do you hear the WWE Universe? They go for it. Looking for the LeBron. This won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout strategy, but it might work. Critical time here. Can they get out? Are they going to tap? Can they break this hole? Did they do? Superstar showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Shot slam! Lana, somebody... Lana's wrong. It's effective. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Now that's not right. Somebody do something about that. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. All right, now he's looking for any way to break out of this, and he does. Standing drop kick. It does. Guys, we can see the top of the cell. Somebody has got to get them down before things go south in a hurry. Ooh, treading all over there. This whole arena is standing watching these maniacs battle it out 25 feet above the ground. Uh 
You still do a lot of damage, though. And the tap out isn't going to do anything. This is just torturous now. Where do these superstars get the idea to do this? I don't know, but if this is something they dreamt up, I wouldn't want to know what their nightmares look like. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. The Hulkster continues to survive. We've already seen part of the cell break apart. No telling what more can break apart is now these athletes are taking their chances in a very perilous position at the top of Hell in a Cell. Set with an effective leg drop. I think the champ's got it. You can hear the chaining fence buckling with every impact. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Uh-oh. Carefully measured. Oh, man! Leg drop arm breaker. Things did not go to plan here tonight. Yeah, no one ever plans on losing their title. 